boy, wasn't that video great? It ended up with children. As you know, children are our future here in Skagit County. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Bill Aslett. I'm a city council member for the city of Burlington, as well as a United Way board member. We have a very quick paced program for you here this morning, just about 20 minutes. And unlike years past, you won't have to spend most of your time waiting in line for breakfast. We have a number of things to cover, but we're gonna start with an introduction to Craig Chambers, the new executive director of United Way of Skagit County. Craig brings a new level of energy and excitement to our organization. I'm sure you're going to enjoy meeting him. Hello, my name is Craig Chambers and I'm the executive director for the United Way of Skagit County. Thank you for being here today and allowing me to share my hope for the future of our organization. We are in an unprecedented time right now and I feel like the divide in our country has never been bigger. I truly believe though, that this is a time that our community needs us now more than ever. It is literally in our name, United. The only way for us as a people to overcome these challenges is by coming together and lifting each other up. United Way believes in diversity, equity, and inclusion. And we have a big journey ahead of us in exploring this. But there is one thing that is very clear. We are an anti-hate organization. We believe in pro-love, pro-peace, and pro-people. All people. But please understand that within this peace, we also fight. We fight for the education, health, and financial stability for all children, families, and people in Skagit County. This is done by us investing into youth homelessness, food scarcity, and financial literacy programs for families. The reason we fight is because 64% of children in Skagit County are not ready for kindergarten. We rank last among all of the counties on the I-5 corridor. This has a long-term impact on our youth's future, leading to an increase in dropout rates, prison rates, and drug addiction. That is why United Way of Skagit County, bold goal is by 2025, every child entering kindergarten in Skagit County will be ready to learn. But we are not in this fight alone. With your help and support, we can make sure the future is bright for Skagit County. This would not be possible without the investments that our community makes into our neighbors, friends, and loved ones. Thank you for your continued support and enjoy the rest of the event. Hi, I'm Roland Keen with Banner Bank, and we are super excited this year again to be supporting the United Way here in Skagit County with our annual campaign oh, okay. to raise funds for our county specifically and this year Banner Bank again will pledge twenty thousand dollars to United Way. So Craig, here you go. Thank you very much for your support. Woo! Yeah! United Way produces a range of programs and this includes Welcome Baby. Here to tell you more about this fabulous program are Jen and Diana. I'm Jen, Program Manager for United Way and Welcome Baby Coordinator. Normally, Welcome Baby Coordinators meet families in the hospital after the birth of their baby. The goal of this introduction is to just provide families with encouragement to get to know them a bit and provide information about Welcome Baby, letting them know that if they need anything, information on resources in our community, if they have a question, a concern, or just need someone to talk to, Welcome Baby is here for them. Hi, I'm Diana, Welcome Baby Coordinator. Parenting is a big responsibility, and now with complications from COVID-19, parents are feeling more stressed, more confused, and more overwhelmed. Welcome Baby is here to help. How? During these unprecedented times, we are working hard to make sure that parents have the basics. Diapers, wipes, car seats, thermometers, formula, and masks. These are not normal times. We have had to adapt our services to meet the very real and timely needs of parents. I'm very proud of the work that we have done in the pilot year of the program. Over the last year, we have visited with over 500 families. We've connected families to resources, have sent newsletters each month providing information on developmental milestones and parenting tips. We've launched two parent groups, one in English and one in Spanish. 
and we have exciting plans for the future. Plans to increase outreach to families, increase partnerships with other organizations who serve families with young children, and increase opportunities for parents to engage in parent support groups. We receive calls and texts every day from parents who are looking for resources. Someone who will listen to them and basic baby supplies. And we are working on a few new things as well, programming for fathers and peer mentorship. We know that there are challenges ahead. We're ready. So now that we've heard from Jen and Diana about Welcome Baby, let's hear from one of the parents that has benefited from that program. When I had my baby, I was having a really hard time because of everything that was going on with the corona virus and um, I felt really lonely and didn't really have support and we couldn't really go out in the community because of um, everything that they were saying, like, you gotta be safe and pregnant woman was more um, risk because of the coronavirus. Um, so getting in touch with um, Welcome Baby and meeting Diana and Jan was very helpful because they were able to um, provide me um, breast pump for the baby. Uh, being able to communicate with another female and not feeling lonely at home, even though I have my husband support and everything, but having another female support was really, like, it helped me, like, to relieve the anxiety, the stress. Hello, I'm Kim Wally from People's Bank in Burlington. And I'm Jennifer Covey from People's Bank in Mount Vernon. And I'm Andy Quagieri, commercial lender here in Burlington. Together, we are proud to partner with United Way of Skagit County. Today, we would like to present this pace setter check for $7,500. Here you go, Craig. Thank you, appreciate it. Now that you've seen Welcome Baby, I'd like to introduce you to some of the other programs that United Way is involved with here in the Skagit Valley community. My name is Nicole Long. I'm the Director of Development at Helping Hands Food Bank. The CHOW program, or known as the Cutting Hunger on Weekend Meal Program, helps ensure that children receive the much needed nutritious food they will eat during the weekends. The United Way partnership with Helping Hands has been there for many years. United Way wants to ensure children are school ready by age five, and Helping Hands wants to provide nutritious food for all in our community. It's a natural partnership with the Chow program in place, and they are great partners to ensure we are connected to the families in need and we fulfill and make sure that the food is delivered to them. Hi, I'm Alexandra Sangston. Hi, and I'm Mike Burke with US Bank. We are so honored to be able to make a contribution this year to pay set our amount of $25,000 to United Way of Skagit County. Because you know what? No child should not be ready when it comes time for school. Craig, please accept this on behalf of all of the employees of U.S. Bank. Thank you so much for your support. Appreciate it. We are United Way of Skagit County, and for 57 years, we've been addressing many of the big issues facing our community. The issues we face today are different than any that we faced for generations. But what remains the same is that investing in a child's future has a positive impact on all other social issues. The first months and years of a child's life are the most formative and have a lasting effect on a child's ability to develop and lead a full and meaningful life. By investing in a children's families to have a more stable life, it leads to greater opportunities in the future and a better community for Skagit County. By addressing these issues, children can realize better overall health, self-regulating skills, social skills, higher achievement, and improved opportunities. For families, it can mean better parenting and problem-solving skills, a stronger, healthier family unit, higher education levels, and greater income. For employers, it can lead to a better prepared workforce, increased productivity, employee retention, and decreased healthcare costs. 
And for our society, it translates to decreased welfare costs, reduced criminality, more focused learning, and safer communities. In support of this, we're building a stronger foundation for a child's bright future. Our bold goal is, by 2025, all Skagit children entering kindergarten are ready to learn. The smallest of contributions, when multiplied by lots of people, can go a long way towards addressing social challenges by giving, advocating, and volunteering. So join us in making a meaningful difference at the United Way of Skagit County. We're ready. I want to take a moment to recognize some very important people to our organization. We have board members that have spent countless hours of their own personal time volunteering with us, advocating for us, and giving us the gift of treasure. Our board has spent thousands of hours in our community working with United Way, being the biggest advocates we have in giving of treasure of over $50,000 a year. With that, understand that United Way is based on giving, advocating, and volunteering. So I just want to take a moment to say thank you, and I look forward to working with you more in the future. Next, we want to introduce some of our valuable partners, the school districts. We have several of the superintendents here to share with us how important it is to have that partnership with United Way to give the kids and their parents those tools to get ready for school. The partnership with United Way is extremely valuable to the Anacortes School District. Uh, in so many ways, the commitment that the United Way organization has to ensuring that our kids are ready for kindergarten, that our kids uh, have the safety nets and the supports and the wraparounds to help them be successful with their learning, to help our families understand and um, enhance their financial stability. Yeah, the relationship between Cedar Willie and, and the United Way of Skagit County is important to us because of the, of the focus. It's early learning. Early learning is the focus. It's uh, get students kindergarten ready by 2025. Um, we're in the education business and we want to close that gap, those opportunity gap, achievement gaps. We start in preschool, we start in kindergarten, we get those kids back on track uh, uh, in third grade, we close that gap. Well, I think it's extremely important because our goals really align with each other. Um, you know, we want all kids ready for kindergarten as well. And I think with that and knowing that we want to provide equitable resources for our kids is super important. So again, frankly, we really want to provide each child what he or she needs to be successful. And I think this partnership really will help us to, um, together. So for example, the more we can have people with the same vision and mission, I think the better we improve the life chances for our kids. I've been an educator here in Skagit Valley for about 30 years. And as a teacher and principal and superintendent, I've witnessed firsthand the power of early learning and preparing students for lifelong success. You know, there are about 2,000 days from when a child is born to when they enter kindergarten. And every one of those days is very important. In the fall of 2019, only 36% of our children entering kindergarten in Burlington Edison demonstrated school readiness according to the state screener. We call that Walk Kids. Actually, what really stands out to me in regards to our partnership is our commitment to um, creating equitable outcomes for our kids. And um, United Way's commitment to move away from the concept of equality and thinking about equity in regards to how we can utilize our resources to provide supports across our community. I think also what stands out to me with United Way and what excites me is that these resources will stay in Anacortes. These resources will impact the day-to-day -day life of our kids in our community. Uh, and and I'm, I'm excited for this partnership. And it's, it's important for us as an organization to continue to partner with um, these amazing resources. You know, I think it's super important for kids to be ready to learn because it's better to front load our system with the resources our kids need that way, the output will be more kids that become contributing citizens in our systems versus other kids that we might have to rely on other organizations to meet their needs. So I think it's just so important for us to really, um, again, front load the services so that way we can get kids graduated 
And just like our goal, 100% um, graduation and ready for post-secondary opportunities. We at Burlington Edison School District are honored to support the work of United Way of Skagit County in helping every child enter school with a degree of readiness. Hello there, I'm John White, the general manager here at Puget Sound Refinery, and we're excited to pledge $100,000 to United Way. Thank you for your support, appreciate it. You're welcome. Hello again. I just wanna take a moment to thank those that have supported us in the efforts that we have in lifting all those in our communities up. To our sponsors, pay setters, and individuals that have given gifts to those in our community, we say thank you. Thank you for joining us this morning. As you've seen in this quick program, we are very organized on trying to achieve our bold goal of getting all Skagit children ready to learn by the time they enter kindergarten by 2025. I wanna remind you, we do have three ways that you can get involved. Give, advocate, and volunteer. With United Way, our goal is to get those children ready. And together, united, we can.